New at 6, community groups packing up and looking for a new place to do business. They tell us that they were abruptly told on Friday that the landmark building they use is closed due to structural problems. From the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Brian Yukono shows us what they're up against in Fall River. This is a building that dates back generations here in Fall River, and I'm told typically just shy of 2,000 people use the building in some capacity every week. But right now it's empty. Everyone's been told to get out. For decades, the doors at the Bank Street Armory have welcomed the community, from basketball games to after-school programs. But now, handwritten closed signs hang on those doors. We always knew that this could have been a potential at some point in time. Um, I think the biggest shock was that we thought we would have a little bit more notice. Um, I mean, we literally got the call at 3 o'clock that the building was going to be closed at 5. That was Friday afternoon after an inspection of the building. Carmen Ricciardi tells me only employees are allowed inside to box up their belongings. I saw one group carrying stacks of boxes into a side door. Bit of a shock. I, was, I can tell you that I was a bit numb uh, to hear the news. Um, and at that moment, I didn't really know what we would do and where we would go. Grace Gerling and Carmen Ricciardi tell me a handful of organizations have offices here and about a dozen other groups regularly use the space. They're concerned about losing students who are new to their programs while searching for new space. One of the biggest things that we teach is, is both teamwork and overcoming obstacles. So it's time for us to, to live up to our side and, and you know, show the student base that we can get this done in a very short period of time. The groups that use the armory are hopeful to be up and running in a new space by Monday, knowing that with each passing day, there are children and families with no place to turn. With the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Brian Yacono, Eyewitness News.